Uh, I wanted to share with you the pieces I made for the Stanislaus Family Justice Center Art Restores Kids fundraising event. And what happened was, is I did select two art kids artwork pieces, and I did create two pieces, but neither of them went to the event. I actually had to uh, repurpose another piece that I had, and I, I made some alterations to it. And then another one I had actually I had in my head when I chose the child's art piece, but I thought, no, I need to make something new for this. At the very end, the piece, new piece that I made for it had a great big crack down the center. So what I want to do is just show you how I made those. Uh, one of them is a bowl and how I threw the bowl and then the art piece. Um, I didn't get too many videos of the event, so I'll just put those at the end. Um, and hopefully it's not a super long video, but I wanted to show you what I did. Today I've actually wedged out 10 balls of clay and I'm starting to throw a lot of things because I have that artist open studio tour where people are coming to my studio and I just want to have some stuff ready so I'm making cups today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'm not going to even end this with anything but a smile and say see you next time. An inspiration piece, you can p you pick it out yourself actually and I'm mostly inspired by what they say and it helps me with what they've drawn to come up with some kind of a concept. So this is what I'm going to start working on. Um, I only have two weeks to do it.
Okay, here's the deal. Um, this is dry, this is dry, and this is almost dry. It feels a little too cold for me still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat this for like four hours and then uh, allow it to bisque up real slow and hopefully this won't crack. So just wanted to give you a pre-up of what's happening. This is the one I'll probably use for the project. I made two of them just in case because you never know if something's gonna make it or something's gonna crack and not make it. Okay, when I made this piece, I really didn't have a direction for it. I just knew I wanted to have and textured on half and textured on half. So I need to decide before I glaze how I want it to stand. I have to step back and take a look at it. Kind of like that. I really don't like that. <laughs> Use the other direction. Actually, I think I like this way the best. Now, you're gonna find difference of opinion, but for me, I think I'm gonna, and whoever purchases it can, you know, can display it however they want, but I think that's how I need to look at it while I'm glazing. 